The State Fund Safety and Health Ergonomics Team is excited to share some valuable information with you today. The parcel delivery driver is the fastest growing field in this industry where rushing and cutting corners can cause serious injury and even death. This occupation combines risks from three separate tasks. First, driving both in heavy traffic and neighborhoods. Second, lifting and handling many and sometimes heavy packages. And third, entering and exiting the vehicles many times during the sometimes 10-hour workdays. Slips and falls cause the second highest number of injuries in this field. Serious injuries can limit your ability to work. Learning how to enter and exit the vehicle safely will help prevent serious injuries. All new skills require practice to become natural. We want you to be injury free. Have you ever heard the phrase maintain three points of contact? This is used for anything where you will be climbing above ground level, like when you use a ladder. For this training, this is the concept you need to remember when getting in and out of your vehicle. Here's the idea. You have two hands and two feet, which could add up to four points of connection or contact. As you enter and exit the vehicle, you should keep three of these points secured to help prevent a fall. Sometimes the contact point is with the ground or step. Other times the contact is a handhold or even the floor of the vehicle. It only takes a few extra seconds to find good hand and footholds to stay safe. Falling from an elevated height increases the forces involved during impact, which leads to more severe injury. Additionally, the impact to your back and legs from regularly jumping out of a vehicle can add up over time and cause injury as well. Always check your surrounding for uneven ground, mud, puddles, oil, or even snow as you arrive to your delivery location. Making sure to avoid these hazards before you park will also keep you safe from slips and falls. Before you step in an area which is uneven, watch your foot placement carefully and don't release contact until the foot is firmly placed on the ground. Only grab onto fixed surfaces designed for use as hand and foot holds. Don't grasp onto the steering wheel or control levers which may shift or move. Only use handholds on the door when stable and motionless. What you walk through will be on your shoes. Check to ensure that your shoes are free from mud, loose gravel, or other items which could lessen contact. Shaking off the dirt before you step will improve control. Make sure that you enter and exit facing towards the vehicle. Facing outwards while exiting the vehicle puts your arms and hips behind you in an unnatural position and doesn't allow for full foot placement, increasing the chance of a slip. Although each vehicle will differ slightly, watch as this delivery driver enters the truck. He places one hand on the hold of the door, the other grabs the support on the vehicle, while one foot is placed on the step or running board. Watch to make sure your foot is in full contact before you step. Pushing up with strong leg muscles while assisting with the hands, the driver is able to get up to the truck without the risk of falling. If one of these contact points slipped, the other two would be there to prevent a fall. Getting out of the vehicle follows these same steps and should be the reverse of how the driver entered the vehicle. Make sure that if you have a package or envelope in the cab to deliver, that you place it on the dash or the seat nearby before you exit. Don't have a package in your hand while entering or leaving the vehicle as this limits the use of your hands for contact. Entering the back of the vehicle should follow the same process as the driver's seat. Each vehicle is different. You need to find a handhold on the vehicle, possibly placing one hand on the vehicle floor and step up to enter. Once inside, slide the packages towards the rear of the vehicle and exit the same way you entered, grabbing the packages for delivery once you're safely on the ground. The same process is true for entering the side of a vehicle. Find the safe points of contact for each location in the vehicle so that you can enter and exit while maintaining three points of contact. Only lift and carry packages once you are out of the vehicle. Take time to find these contacts in the vehicle you are using. Practice these safe steps until they feel natural and automatic. Avoiding slips and falls will help you escape serious injury. Thank you for watching. If you want more information to help improve your safety, please check out our website at safeatworkca.com for more information.